What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a couple of Facebook ads that I saw in my timeline that I literally just took a screenshot. So I'm gonna show you guys some really good things that people are doing, some things that people should be tweaking, and um, you know the important parts of Facebook ads, what grabs the attention uh, for real estate specific ads. So we're gonna dive right in here and just go through the ads, right? Um, so we've got a home search here, um, and it literally just says your home search has never been easier uh, with a house, and it says browse all little elm homes for sale. Now I don't know the success or failure of all these ads, right? Um, all I can do is assume uh, based on you know my my experience working with real estate agents over the years and what uh, has been successful for us and what has not been. So. Um, with this, it goes straight to a website that literally just goes to a home search. <clears throat> so if you send people to from an ad to a website, you're probably going to lose at least 20 to 30 percent, right, of the ad of the leads that you could get otherwise. So if you send 100 people from a Facebook ad to your website, you're probably, if your numbers are good, you you could convert 10 percent. Um, that is really, really good. Most people convert 5% or less, oftentimes into that 2 to 3% conversion rate. So sending them to a website is never a great idea. What you can do is do a homes list or something like that where you can grab their information first, whether that be through a landing page, um, through a lead form, or through Messenger. Uh, those are the three avenues that I recommend. So this is um, you know, super simple. Uh, it's a home search. If somebody sees this, they're probably like, oh, I can just do that on Zillow or Realtor.com. It doesn't really make sense, right? And then you've got this one. It literally says assist clients with buying and selling homes. And what I see a lot of real estate agents do, they say that Facebook ads don't work or they say Instagram advertising doesn't work for them. This is probably something that they're doing, right? Literally just has, uh, this looks like probably their cover image on their business page. And then they just said assist clients with buying and selling their homes and it says sign up and that's literally it um, so if you're doing this and you think that facebook ads don't work for you please uh, download my facebook ad templates below in the description I'll give you seven facebook ads that can work for your real estate business um, this is you know a pretty bad ad i won't go too much in depth on that but this is a really good one right so you've got inspiration is the hottest subdivision in st paul texas nestled next to blah, 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 right? And then you've got homes starting from the low 300s to the million dollar plus range. And then they have actual properties so you can see what that would look like, right? 330, uh, almost $400,000 homes. And then it keeps going. And then if you click on it, it goes to a landing page where you can, uh, and they also have the link here too. I, I kind of blacked out that link, but it allows you to go to the landing page, enter their name, email, phone number so that they, they can get the list of the hottest subdivision in St. Paul and get that homes list. So this is actually a really good ad. Some other things that you could do here is just take listings from the MLS and put them into one of these types of ads. And then you know you can grab their name, email, phone number because you as the agent, you have access to the MLS. You can't market one specific property without the consent of that listing agent, but you can um, advertise the listings uh, from the MLS, right? Um, so you can do something like that, right? You can do like five or six listings and, and feature those listings. And then you can grab their name, email, phone number from a lead form, a landing page, messenger, whichever form works for you. So this is actually a really good ad that you can mimic. And then you've got another one here with the browse homes thing, right? So searching for your next home, our website can help. Please don't send people to your website. You are losing leads that way. Um, the best way you can do is do a homes list. Again, download the Facebook ad templates. You'll do the homes list, get their information, and then send them to your website because you do want people to set up their home search with their your IDX and your MLS so that you can send them homes based on their search criteria. You absolutely want that, but first you need to grab their information. And if you're sending them, if you're bypassing that, the lead form, landing page, grabbing their information portion you're losing out on a ton of leads and a ton of business. Next one here, can't believe January is almost over. We've been super busy getting these great listings on the market. 
uh, you can see all of our listings here. Again, they're just sending them to um, this link here, is sending them to their website, losing leads, right? And then they've got a send message here, so if they click on the button or the um, photo here, it's gonna send them a message, and they don't have any auto response in the actual message. All it says is, can I help you do blah, blah, blah. And it has just the very generic answers um, that Facebook essentially allows you to, to put without doing any work. So a, a really good way to do this would be see all of our listings. That's, a, that's actually a decent call to action. Um, you can do it like the one I showed you previously with a slideshow, like multiple images. You can do something like this using Canva image editor. And then you can, you can take them in through Messenger and send them uh, a similar thing where it has all three or four or five listings in that um, carousel or slide type feature, right? Um, and then you want to grab their name, email, phone number. Um, they're doing both, which isn't great. They have two different calls to action here, and they're both not optimized. So either send them to a landing page or lead form or send them in through Messenger. Try not to do both because that confuses leads or, or the people scrolling through Facebook. So that's just one way. One way to optimize this is literally just choose a conversion mechanism, lead forms, landing page, or messenger, and then uh, optimize. They don't. All they have here is the realty group as their headline. So optimize the headline, uh, and then actually send them what they requested in Messenger using a Messenger bot. I will link that below. And then another ad here. This was actually a video ad that wasn't terrible, but all it really said, the call to action was a phone number, right? So the similar as a website, if you're just listing your phone number, people aren't going to call you, right? If you get a hundred people to click on your ad or send a message, um, maybe 1% will call you. And that is a stretch. My guess would be less than a half percent of people on Facebook will call them. They're literally wasting money by, by running this ad. And these are the people that say Facebook ads don't work for them. So um, if this is you, grab the templates below. It will help you immensely. Um, there are done, proven campaigns in those Facebook ad templates. And this is actually a really, a really good ad as well. So are you looking, to, to, are you looking at buying uh, a new David Weekly home? If so, uh, until the end of February, we're offering 3.5% of the sales price of their new home back at closing. That's an amazing offer. Whatever your thoughts are on um, cutting your commissions, this is a great offer, and they're going to get a ton of leads from it, right? Pay your closing costs, buy down your interest rate, get an extra home warranty. Those are a, That's an amazing offer stack, right? You've got multiple um, things allowing people who are viewing this are like, yes, uh, I want to have my, my closing costs paid for. I want 1.5%. And 1.5%, as you know, could be a ton of money. That's thousands of dollars for the prospects. Um, and then they say offers subject to lender approval, blah, blah, blah. But these are new construction homes. So that is another way, you know, you can let your imagination go with the homes list that you can do. And they say, click learn more to find out how to get one and a half percent back at closing. Uh, a good way here that, you know, one and a half percent, you don't really know what that is. Something that you could do is see how you can get uh, $1,500 back minimum, right? $1,500 plus dollars back at closing or something like that to, to put a monetary value on that. Um, but otherwise, this ad is great. It sends them to a landing page. The landing page grabs their name, email, phone number, and they can follow up with them with this offer. So this is a great ad that you can mimic, right? So that is uh, our weekly Facebook ads audit for real estate agents. Guys, I have Facebook ad templates that you can download. I'll link that in the description below. Uh, if you like this type of video, if you like real estate mortgage related content marketing, uh, make sure that you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.